Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I thought I would take you behind the scenes from my latest photo shoot, which was with the Carolina Girls dance team last week. We will take a look at the three different lighting setups we used. Uh, I'll show you the different modifiers, their placement, and we'll just break down the entire set as a whole. Also for capture, I used the Canon R5 once again, um, but this time I used the 24 to 105 lens, the F4 lens. I had several people comment uh, before on some of my previous behind the scenes videos, and they were asking if they thought I could pull uh, off a shoot with that lens um, in comparison to the uh, 2.8 since I'm not going all the way wide open. Uh, so I gave it a try and it worked fantastically. Uh, and once again, the Canon R5 was, was amazing. Um, I did not have this fancy gimbal on set though. Did that hurt your feelings? Well, I'll tell you what. What if you film me behind the scenes for this video? Would that make you happy? All right, so that's what we'll do. I'll use this guy to hopefully film me uh, showing you the different lighting setups that we used uh, last week for the shoot right after we Roll that intro. All right, so I'm gonna try and use my automated cameraman up here and we'll see how that goes. It might be a little jerky here and there, but what what the heck, let's give it a shot. All right, first of all, we'll break down the overall setup for our shoot last week. You can see we went with a black backdrop. This is a uh, Westcott cloth backdrop. I like to use cloth when I can because it's uh, reusable, obviously. Uh, and I've got it just on one of those kind of cheap, uh, I'm not sure what the brand is on the light, on the uh, backdrop stands, but basically it's it's not nothing expensive. I think they're like around a hundred bucks. Maybe I'll uh, link it below. But so we've got the cloth, black cloth there. On the floor here, I've got some uh, black acrylic, which kind of helps bring that sweep out. And then if we're going kind of a wide shot, it'll actually give a little bit of a reflection as you can kind of see here, it'll kind of, the camera might not be high enough, but you can uh, see somewhat of a reflection, um, which kind of creates a cool effect for your full body type uh, work. Um, so this is our base uh, for the photo shoot for last week. So we're going black backdrop instead of the normal white that we normally do with the girls, but um, we decided to mix it up this year. And so while we've got all this set, I'll just go ahead and run through the group setup. So this is kind of, this would be setup number one uh, for our group shots. To start, I've got my main light here, uh, which is a Ellen Chrome uh, Octa, kind of a deep Octa um, Rotolux box. Uh, let me rotate it around. You can kind of see what that looks like. So this was my main light for all three setups. And I've got it on this boom, so I can raise and lower depending on the height of the girls and depending on what the setup is. Also, I've got it on wheels, so it can wheel in and wheel out uh, if I needed to um, reposition it or you know, kind of wheel out that way as well. Uh, and then in front here for Phil, I've got one umbrella on this side. Um, this is their kind of medium uh, deep umbrella. It's another Westcott product uh, over here. The same umbrella. What you might notice is I've got these two stands at different heights. And so that, that'll bring me to, uh, I guess, the overall kind of look and feel of this type of lighting setup. When it, it's very similar to my athletic shoots where I've got to run a lot of people through uh, one area in a short amount of time, and then you, there are gonna be three different kind of lighting setups that we wanna do in that area. So I've got to construct stuff that I can either turn stuff on and off, uh, or I can move it uh, a short distance and still create three different types of looks. Uh, so it's not a very technical uh, lighting setup, say if you had several hours to work with 
a uh, handful of models, then you could kind of really craft the lighting. Uh, this is more of a kind of a blanket of light that I can customize just by turning on and off stuff and moving the modifiers or the lights uh, a short distance uh, to make that change. Um, and it's just it's really just based off of team, uh, off of speed and the number of people I've got to run through in a short window of time. So for the rest of this setup, uh, I've got two of the large Westcott umbrellas on either side that kind of give us that, that rim light, which brings them forward from this black backdrop. We also opted for uh, two uh, gelled pro photos with uh, reflectors, which you'll see in some of the samples that I'll uh, show on the screen uh, that will give them kind of a, uh, a red or garnet type look uh, for that to you know, help make that differentiate that group setup um, from the other two setups that we'll do. Also, I know I'm showing some of the samples during the video to uh, demonstrate what these lighting setups brought together for us in a visual sense at the end. And I'm only gonna show a couple of those samples just because uh, the team is nice enough to allow me to show some of these in the video, but I don't wanna uh, launch out all their images because uh, I know they wanna uh, save those for their social feeds uh, and how they use them throughout the, the season. So uh, I'm just gonna show a handful, the different ones, so you can get an idea of what the result was um, and you know let them keep the rest for their season. So this is lighting setup one. All right, so for our second lighting setup, uh, this will be the headshot setup. Uh, both of the fill lights were turned off. I'm keeping all this stuff on so it illuminates me for the video, for the sake of the video. Um, also, you might pick up some of the fan noise coming off of these lights because they're obviously uh, not constant lights for video and they make a little bit of noise. So um, hopefully that's new, not too distracting. Uh, for the headshots though, I did keep uh, these uh, rim umbrellas on and they are pretty low down um, power wise. And that's just to kind of give them just a little bit of an edge to bring them off of this uh, back backdrop here, black backdrop. Uh, and then the main light here is again, this uh, Okta. Um, and then I brought in this eyeliner, the Westcott eyeliner. It's the first time I've used this thing and just thought I would try something a little bit different um, with this shoot. So this is kind of a basic uh, headshot setup, uh, three lights, one reflector giving me that clamshell, kind of classic clamshell type look. So I know you're seeing some examples there, but now we will jump to setup number three. So setup number three might look familiar. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll link a uh, video up here. Uh, which will show you how we constructed this backdrop. And I'll link also the uh, football video behind the scenes where you can see more of this backdrop being used. Um, but once again, we <laughs> use this backdrop. Uh, it was made pretty popular from the couple shoots that I've used uh, with it. So <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't help but use it again. Uh, and just for those that haven't seen that video, the lighting setup is a three lighting setup. You know, I don't have to use any of this fill over here. Just use uh, this Okta that's boomed overhead and then bring in the two large uh, Westcott umbrellas uh, into close proximity, you know, right behind the boards here and crank the power all the way up basically. So this is lighting setup number three. Uh, I know I'm showing some examples. And so that basically breaks it down. Uh, and we will meet back at the desk. Well, I think that just about does it for me here today. If you've got any other comments or questions, you know, feel free to leave those below as usual. Uh, if you found this video worthy, please give it that thumbs up. That helps tremendously. Also, if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button and don't forget about the little bell there because that'll let YouTube know to tell you when I'm here. Uh, also, um, you can always find me on social media at Quants Photo on Instagram and Twitter. Please be safe and healthy out there. And I hope I'll be here probably by myself <laughs> without this guy uh, in the next one. I do have some uh, video um, content coming up and that I hope to uh, put this guy through his paces. So 
If that's something of interest, uh, I can possibly leave a review and let you know how uh, he performs. But for now, I'm tired of puppeteering. Thank you all for watching.